Hello everyone, this is Manak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel. In today's video, we will show you how to create a braced connection as, or a diagonal braced connection in the Tecla structure software. As you can see, this is a column with a beam and it's supported by a diagonal brace. So how to do that and how to provide the connection of it. So we'll check out in today's video. So let's start. So to begin with, after opening the Tecna interface, I've opened it in the Indian code and uh, you can open with it, use the US environment or UK environment or any country in which uh, according to the code of which you are designing the building or designing the structure. So we'll go with the steel column, random steel column and just place it here. And uh, as you can see, we've placed it here. So just click on escape and double click on this uh, particular column and uh, we'll just uh, make this bottom as zero and then click on modify and after that we'll just click on a grid line and then i'll select this and create view along grid lines and then click simply click on create uh, we also want the grid one as you can see this is the grid one grid one view and uh, click on ok and then close it so you can just go to window and uh, tile vertically so this will enable us to work on two windows simultaneously so uh, let's add a beam here just a normal simple beam here and we'll just select this and uh, you can have any distance which you want let's say uh, 1000 or 1800 example the unit is an mm so beam has been selected let's click on escape and now we want to place a braced uh, bracing here just a simple pipe bracing in this particular place uh, so for that uh, you can go to the option of edit and uh, you can have this option of points and and that you can have at any uh, position as you can see at any position you can have the point but now you cannot be able to select this particular intersection so for that you can go to this bottom options and just click on this snap to intersection points then click on this as you can see this on uh, this Point has been selected uh, now if we just click on uh, escape and after that just select this point and right click on mouse and then copy special uh, linear and in the extraction let's give a distance of 1000 just click on copy and then ok and then you'll be able to see that so you can see this this is the point and uh, again just click on escape select this uh, right click on this and then uh, copy special linear and this time it will be 0 in the x and in the z direction as you can see there be minus 1000 and then click on copy and then click on ok you'll just see the changes here so here as you can see this is the points here so now you can just go to steel and add any particular beam here so before that you can go to your particular properties and I can change the section of the beam or else you can just select any these two points and then make the beam and after that you can make the changes just go to uh, and uh, just click on escape and double click on that particular beam and its properties will show and uh, this at depth also you we'll just go here and click on middle and click on modify so you want orientation like this and now we'll change this section type and uh, we'll go for since you're using the Indian codes, if you're using US code, you can go to pipe section. And uh, in the Indian code here, we'll go with uh, circular hollow sections of a particular diameter, let's say a diameter of uh, 100 mm. And then click on apply and OK. And then click on modify. So you can see this is done. And uh, you can adjust the pipe diameter according to your preference here. So after that you can just select your connection type. So for selecting your connection type you can go to control plus F and you can just type here bracing and you can select the type of the connections uh, which you want. As you can see there are, if there are a lot of uh, you know connections which you are having but we pre precisely uh, select the connection which you want which in this case is the diagonal braced connection so this is exactly what we want diagonal braced connection select this 
and we'll select the column as the main part and this as a second part and the connection will you know will be visible here as you can see here in 3d view as well that's visible so once again if you do it i uh, will select this as the main part and this as a secondary part so here again you can see this point also the connection will be visible so now once the connection is done just click on escape and you can also click on interrupt click on escape again and right click so and right click and then click on redraw view so any changes will be done similarly in 3d view also just click on redraw view when there is any changes that will be done properly so now after you have done this uh, we want to just check out in the 3d view let's uh, uh, just close this view and focus on the 3d view now and uh, you can just check out and the properties of it first of all like this pipe is being extended just click on this pipe or just simply click on this particular connection and then we'll change things suppose we want this extension to happen beyond 10 mm so let's give this uh, particular uh, you know extension as your 10 mm and click on apply okay so we'll just make the remaining changes again just click on this and this one also we'll just click 10 mm and modify so as you can see you just uh, go gone further beyond so we'll go to 0 and then make this as 10 modify so now it's better as you can see here and this distance will give give it some distance uh, beyond this so let's give this uh, let's say uh, 300 and modify it's too much so you can adjust it accordingly 150 or else you know 100 so this is the case of this connection here and uh, you can adjust the uh, bolt distance from here to here the bolt distance suppose we are going with 150 and modify so this is the bolt distance now it is not sufficient enough so you can see from this uh, uh, particular thing what is the distance here 300 if you give 300 then it goes further beyond as you can see so if we give 0 so it comes here like exact uh, you know intersection of this so let's give it like 50 and click on modify so you can see here this is the case now uh, this is the distance of uh, this particular uh, as you can see here holder so this let's give this uh, width as your let's say uh, 200 and modify so it will it will change automatically this a particular thing so we can give this let's say 100 and modify so this is the particular dimension of this uh, so now the next thing which you can edit here is this particular total length total length suppose if I want to make it 200 modify so it becomes 200 so keep it 150 so like this you can make the changes to this connection similarly for this connection as well I will make some more changes here so for this connection first of all we'll just uh, make uh, this as your 10 and modify okay so this this one uh, this okay this one will give you 100 and this one will give 10 and click on modify so we are good here and after that if you want to change this let's see this bolts up direction as you can see general and bolt are showing at uh, scene that and after that if you want to change the bolts here just to go back to this bolts and you can change the bolt size to you know the diameter you can just provide or i can also like let's say if you want to give 12 mm and click on apply modify and you can change the diameter of the bolts as well so like this you can change the diameter the bolts so all the things in this any type of connection which you do in the tecla you can change that and if you want to rotate it and see just click on ctrl plus r and then pick a center point and then using the left click of the mouse you can see 
the connection properly uh, whatever that is properly done or not in the particular software as you can see here this is like this you can see all the connections which are properly done or not